But it looks like the folks from the I-4 Ultimate Project learned a lot from yesterday's problems. Let me show you what the ramp looks like right now. You can see it back there, the Amelia Street ramp from I-4 eastbound. All clear right now, nothing really backing up. The car is moving smoothly to get down here into this detour. Now the ramp, as I said, moving smoothly today. Officials don't think the problem yesterday was because of any kind of timing on the traffic lights or anything. They think people were just making turns into places where they weren't supposed to be. Our camera saw the trouble yesterday. Cars backed up onto the eastbound lanes of I-4, waiting to get off on the new temporary ramp for Amelia. At the end of that ramp, dumping drivers into dedicated lanes separated by barriers, one taking you onto westbound Colonial, the other around a Huey where you could backtrack and then reach Amelia. I-4 Ultimate officials told us earlier this week, no right turns at the end of that ramp. Your only option is gonna be to make a left-hand turn when you get to the bottom of that ramp. When you get to Colonial, You'll not be able to turn right. But as we found yesterday, many, many people made their own rules, turning right onto Colonial. Officials say they feared someone would drive into oncoming traffic and cause a crash. So now they're making it next to impossible to get it wrong. There's a bunch of different things now here on the ramp to keep people from turning right onto Colonial. That includes a digital sign right here, a long line of these orange traffic cones, and today, law enforcement with their lights flashing. One downside to this new plan, there's only one lane coming off the ramp now instead of two. A much tighter squeeze for drivers, especially during rush hour. And no doubt yesterday's problem was compounded by the fact that there was an Orlando Magic game downtown right there last night. So a lot of people probably coming into downtown trying to get to the game, backing up traffic as well. We've seen crews out here tweaking the system as it's running so far today. And I-4 Ultimate folks say that they'll be doing that as needed. Reporting live downtown, Bob Hazen, West 2 News.